Brazil, and he wrote his gazebo dances originally for piano for him as well, although most commonly they are performed uh, in the orchestral situation. The title was suggested by the pavilions he would see on village screens in small towns where public band concerts are often given on summer evenings. The delight of that sort of entertainment is portrayed in this set of dances, which begins with a Rossini-like overture, a, ra a rather peg-legged waltz, a long lined andaggio, and a bouncy tarantella. A quick word about the last movement, the tarantella. This is a folk dance characterized by upbeat tempo, usually 6-8, and it's often accompanied by tambourines. Unfortunately, we don't have any tambourines, and we certainly don't have any more hands to play them, uh, but most of it is in 6-8 time. The original legend of the birds of the tarantella is that someone was bitten by a tarantula, and he had to dance at an upbeat tempo in order to get the poison out of his system. <laughs> so enjoy Coriano.
titled The Arrest Call. Um, a little bit of history about this piece. John David Ernest is the composer in residence at Whitman College. Um, I met John David, I am a graduate of Whitman College, started in 2001 and graduated in 2005. And I met John David when I was there as a student. Uh, this piece is actually a, a third movement, I believe, from his first piano sonata. Um, and so that was how I kind of got introduced to his music. And I actually played the solo version of this piece on my sophomore piano recital. Um, and then when I came back, I went back to teach at Whitman and taught there for three years. And that's how I met Jeremy, because he was also teaching at Whitman. And we kind of got going on this forehand and found out we were a good duo and decided to just kind of make a thing of it. So we've been playing all over the country. We've got another concert in Missouri where I teach in October uh, this year. Um, so we are good friends with John David, and we asked if he would be willing to write something for us. So he took that third movement from his sonata and made it into a piano one. And I must say, it's slightly easier to play with four hands because there are a lot of notes, uh, but it's still very difficult in typical John David fashion. Every meter, every measure is in a different meter. Um, and our hands are kind of going all over the place. So this is the obsessive waltz. This poor little waltz um, has some trouble. It has a little identity conflict. Uh, it's not really sure who it is and has a little trouble finding Enjoy the attempt.
not dance. It is the only piece on the program that is not a dance, but we think you will recognize it and we hope you enjoy it. And thank you again for coming. Thank you.